أعوذ بالله سميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم أعوذ بالله سميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم أعوذ بالله سميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم هو الله الذي لا إله إلا هو عالم الغيب والشهادة هو الرحمن الرحيم هو الله الذي لا إله إلا هو الملك القدوس السلام المؤمن المهيمن العزيز الجبار المتكبر سبحان الله عما يشركون هو الله الخالق البارئ المصور له الأسماء الحسنى يسبح له ما في السماوات والأرض وهو العزيز الحكيم صدق الله العظيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سورة انفطار The cleaving I begin in the name of Allah The most compassionate The merciful Section 1 I'm number 9 كلا بل تكذبون بالدين No, but indeed, you belie the administering of judgment. In the commentary it is mentioned. It means, O oh infidel, you are rejecting the Prophet simply because you do not have firm belief in the day of judgment. Had you believed in it then, you would have certainly believed in the Prophet. Ayat number 10. وَإِنَّ عَلَيْكُمْ لَحَافِظِينَ And surely guardians have been appointed over you. In the commentary it is mentioned, from this emerge a few issues. Number one, angels have been appointed for the protection of lives and deeds of, of the people. For the protection of lives, there are 60 angels. For the deeds, there are four. Two are for the day and two are for the night. Number two, these angels are appointed for people only and not for other creations. Therefore, upon you have been stated before. Three, Allah Almighty works can be linked to his servants because protector and helper is Allah Almighty. Yet it is said that angels are protecting you. Those it is permissible to say that the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Alihi Wasallam protects us and saves us from hardships and calamities. Number four, a person should not go to evil places so that because of our sake, these pure Angels don't have to go there. Ayn number 11. Kiraman katibin. The honored records. In the commentary it is mentioned. From this emerge two issues. Number one. In the court of Allah Almighty. Angels enjoy a great deal of honor and respect. Number two. All our deeds. Whether apparent or hidden are revealed to them. That is why they are able to record all our deeds accurately. It should be remembered that the plural of kiram 
means noble. And karam means kindness. Kareem means generous. Or it is driven from karamat or karam, i.e. to be noble by Allah Almighty. Oh, oh believers, they are so kind to you that they do not appear before you. Otherwise, you would not have done any glanstein work. They do not reveal your sins to anyone else. They write ten rewards for one pious deed, but one sin for one evil deed committed by you. They record your pious thoughts, but not your evil thoughts. Ayah number 12. يَعْلَمُونَ مَا تَفْعَلُونَ Who know what you do? In the commentary it is mentioned, in doing this, the heart, the soul and the mind are all included in the action of the limbs. If only the work of the heart was denoted, then how would those angels record our good and evil intentions? Good thoughts the zikr of the heart, the breath of faith of the believers, the enmity of the hypocrites. These angels record all these. It could also mean that whatever you do or would be doing, they fully are aware of that as being revealed by the revered translator. Allah Hazrat Rahamullahu Ta'ala. These angels keep an eye on what is recorded on the divine tablet. They complete the daily diary in accordance with what appears in the divine tablet. From this we learn that Allah Almighty has provided these angels with extensive unseen knowledge about us. While the unseen knowledge of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Wasallam is much more than this. Sallu ala al-Habib Sallallahu Ta'ala ala Muhammad Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Alhamdulillah Alhamdulillah Rabbil alameen Wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidil mursaleen Amma ba'ad Fa'audhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem Bismillahir rahmanir rahim My dear sweet Islamic brothers Let's recite through the park upon the beloved and blessed prophet Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam As-salatu wa salamu alayka ya Rasulullah Wa ala alika wa ashabika ya Habib Allah As-salatu wa salamu alayka ya Nabi Allah Wa ala alika wa ashabika ya Nur Allah Excellence of reciting Durood and Salam the person who recites through the park at least 1,000 times, he will not die until he sees his placement in paradise. The shortest through the park is Sallallahu Ta'ala Ala Muhammad. Sallu ala al-Habib Sallallahu Ta'ala Ala Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Amir al-Mu'mineen Sayyidina Ali Karamallahu Ta'ala Wajal Kareem has stated, I heard the noble prophet Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam saying from the member pulpit that whoever recites Aytul Kursi after every salah there is nothing preventing him from entering into paradise except death and whoever recites this before going to sleep at night Allah Azzawajal will protect him his house and his neighboring houses five blessings of Aytul Kursi so my dear Islam brothers before I mention these five Try to make it a habit of reciting it after every salah. And let's learn these virtues inshallah and adapt this in our life. Dear Islamic brothers and viewers of social media, whoever recites Ayat al-Kursi after every salah will receive the blessings that mentioned below. Number one, he will enter paradise after death inshallah. We want to go to paradise, right? Ayat al-Kursi then. Number two, he will remain secured from all tricks of shaitan and jinns, inshallah. If you think that you're losing items, you're going into a room and you can't see it, it disappears. Where's my keys? Shaitan playing tricks with you. You know, you want to go to the masjid, you want to avoid his tricks, then recite Ayatul Kursi. Number three, if he's destitute, 
Then in a few days his destitution and poverty will be distant from him. If you're jobless and you're having financial problems, recite Ayatul Kursi after every salah, inshallah your destitution will go away. Number four, whoever recites Ayatul Kursi and, two, and the two subsequent verses up to Khalidun in the morning, in the evening, and then when lying down on his bed, he will be protected from theft, drowning, burning, inshallah. We do have the Ayatul Kursi, but that is two extra ayahs that are going to one a full ruku. So when you recite from Ayatul Kursi, you'll go up to a ruku, it goes up to Khalidun. So reciting these extra two ayahs, you will be protected from burning, theft, and drowning, inshallah. Number five. If a tablet inscribed with Ayatul Kursi is hung at some high place in the house, then inshallah, azzawajal, there will never be shortage of food in that house. In fact, there will be more blessings and increase in sustenance and thieves will not be able to enter that house. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Just like to, before I finish off, that due to Ayatul Kursi, you have to have yaqeen, belief, taqwa in Allah. And then inshallah you'll see the benefits of Ayatul Kursi. Just merely reciting and not believing in it, there's a big difference between hypocrite and being a true Muslim. Now there was a brother, he was at the, one of the masjids down. And what happened is, uh, everybody had left and there was a, an issue with the key. They couldn't lock the masjid for some reason. And this uh, brother, he was uh, in the Mahal of Dawud Islami. But he loved Dawud Islami. And there was another brother there. What he did is he recited Ayatul Kursi and he blew on the door. And he said, leave it to Allah, let's go. And he did that and he goes, this is what I mean about Dawud Islami. These brothers have trust, mashallah, in Allah. And he just recited Ayatul Kursi and left it to Allah. And this is what the belief we should have. We didn't have the keys, we were struggling. And this is what happened. And this brother showed so much respect towards Zawad Islami. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ya ilahi raham farma mustafa ki wasate Ya rasool Allah karam ki jiye huda ki wasate Mushkile hal kar shahe mushkil kusha ki wasate Karbala ye rad shaheed Karbala ki wasate Sayyidi sanjad ke sadke Misajid rak mujhe Ilm haq de baakre Ilm huda ki wasate Sidki sadik ka tasadik sadakul Islam kar Begad maradi ho kazim O raza ki wasate Behr maaroof o sari maaroof de Behud sari Jund haq me gil Junaydi Basafa ke wasate Behr shibli shair Haq dunia Ke kutto se bacha Ek karak abd Waahid beriya ke wasate Bul farah ka sadka Kar gham ko farah de Usn saad Bul hasan obu saide Saad za ke wasate Qadri kar qadri Rak qadri موسیقی تور ارفا او علو او حمد او حسن او با دے علی موسیٰ حسن احمد بہا کے واسطے بہر ابراہیم مجھ پر نار غم گلزار کر بیک دے داتا بکار بادشاہ کے واسطے خانہ دل کو زیادے روح و ایمان 
روح و ایمان کو جمال شہزیا مولا جمال الاولیاء کے واسطے دے محمد کے لیے روزی کر احمد کے لیے خوان فضل اللہ سے حصہ گدا کے واسطے دین دنیا کے مجھے برکات دے برکات سے عشق حق دے عشق عشق التماع کے واسطے حب اہل بیت دے آل محمد کے لیے کر شہید عشق حمزہ پیشوا کے واسطے دل کو اچھا تن کو سترا جان کو پر نور کر اچھے پیارے شمس دل بدر الولا کے واسطے دو جہاں میں خادم میں آل رسول اللہ کر حضرت آل رسول مقتدا کے واسطے کر عطا احمد رضا احمد مرسل مجھے میرے مولا حضرت احمد رضا کے واسطے پرزیا کر میرا چہرہ حشر میں اے کبریا شہزیا الدین پیر باصفا کے واسطے احیلا فی الدین والدنیا سلام بالسلام قادری عبد السلام خوش ادا کے واسطے عشق احمد میں اتا کر چشم تر سوز جگر یا خدا الیاس کو احمد رضا کے واسطے شسد کا ان آیا قدی چین از علم و عمل اف و عرفان آفیت اس بے نوا کے واسطے او اللہ عز و جل بائی دی ورچیز آف دیز ہولی سیدز بلیس دیس گادرنگ بلیس آور ہومز یا اللہ عز و جل اکسپ دیس مدنی حلقہ ان یو کور یا اللہ عز و جل وی آف پرفارم صلاة التحجد یا اللہ بائی کنگریگیشن یا اللہ اکسپ دیس ان یو کور یا اللہ وی دی بلیسنگ آف صلاة التحجد انلائٹن آور ہارٹس گیو اس نور آن آر فیسز گیو اس نور آف دی قرآن یا اللہ بائی دی بلیسنگ آف دیس مدنی حلقہ یا اللہ فرگیو آور میجر مائنر سنز بلیس آور پیرنس افتی آر پاسٹ اوے بلیس آور ہومز بلیس آور فاملیز یا اللہ عز و جل گیو اس ٹرو نالیج آف اسلام گیو اس عمل گیو اس دی ابیلیٹی تو انوائٹ اسلامی برادرز ٹوارز مسجد گیو اس دی پرپریشن آف دی آخرات بائی دوئنگ گوڈ دیڈز یا اللہ عز و جل گیو اس دی ابیلیٹی تو پرفارم آور فائیو ڈیلی سلاز ویڈ جماعت یا اللہ عز و جل پرٹیکٹ کشمیر پرٹیکٹ پالیستائن سیریا عراق برما یا اللہ عز و جل یمن آل دی مسلم کنٹریز دار بین اپریسٹ بائی دی نون مسلمز یا اللہ ریویل ریویل Relieve them from this, Ya Allah, calamity and this oppression from them. Ya Allah, give them peace and tranquility. Give them sabr and jameel. And Ya Allah, oncoming in the UK, protect the Muslim from the pandemic. Ya Allah, protect them from the pandemic. Ya Allah, protect them from any types of diseases or any types of illnesses or any type of cold and flus. Ya Allah, relieve them. Ya Allah, Protect the dignity of Muslims. Guide our youngsters from the streets. Ya Allah, protect them from drugs, alcohol, fornication. Guide them towards Islam, Ya Allah. Give them the nur of Iman. Give them the nur of Iman. And give them the preparation of the Akhirah. Ya Allah, Azawajal, many brothers have joined us today. Brother Asad, Brother Waseem, Brother Kabir, Brother Qasim. Ya Allah, Brother Anis and his brothers Waseem. Ya Allah, and Ali. Hadar. Ya Allah, accept this sincere dua. Ya Allah, protect the iman. Ya Allah, give them the ability to get, uh, to be active in the madri kaam of Dawti Islami. Ya Allah, give them success in this world and the hereafter. Ya Allah, give them the ability to deliver a dars, to deliver a speech and to become successful. Ya Allah, those brothers and sisters who are watching via social media, and those who are listening via the radio accept this and see and do'as for the sake of Karbala. If there's any ill and destitute, Ya Allah, give him full swift and recovery for the sake of Karbala. إِلَّا اللَّهُ وَمَلَائِكَتَهُ يُسَلُّونَ عَلَى النَّبِي 
يا ايها الذين امنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا ومولانا محمد معدن الجود والكرم واله وبارك وسلم سبحان ربك رب العزه عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين